what's up guys what's gonna happen today all right today we are back with right here uh why don't you let us know what you got going on uh we're doing a wolf <laughs> <laughs> don't worry i can edit and post <laughs> i've actually gotten kind of decent at it Leave that in. Uh, now we're gonna do a wolf head today uh for my homegirl here so, you know, same shit, different toilet than mine. All right, so the wheels are turning. He was told just wolf. He doesn't even know where he's putting it. No fucking clue at all. I just don't want to do... This is the product so far. I just far. don't want to do like a regular wolf. I want it to be, uh... I want it to be different than every... I mean, because everybody gets a wolf. Not everybody, but the I mean, majority of people get wolves and... Um, there's always, again, with the, the head and the howling position, it's like, what can we do to make it different? You know what I'm saying? What's, what's going to stick out? So maybe even like, if we did like a, a rough outline in black, nice and thick, and then just kind of like gray washed around, splash gray wash around. Um, Your customer does like it nice and thick. So we're prepping here with the Sit mad down. tatter. Look straight, relax. Can I turn this way for me, please? <laughs> All right, Mad Tatter, what do you got going, and what are your plans here? I'll just start this outline, but I want to ask you a question first. If you have three roosters on a fence, how many beaks are there all together? Three roosters on a fence. How many beaks are all together? Three. Three. So, if you have three beaks, right, there's three roosters, how many pairs of feet are there? Three. Three, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if a kitten walked in front of those roosters, could you tell me how many pieces of fur it has? How many pieces of fur the cat has mm -hmm. or the roosters? The cat. Mm, no. No? So you mean to tell me you know all this shit about cock, but you don't know nothing about no pussy? <laughs> <laughs> it was a hundred dicks on a wall. How many would you choke on? Zero. He's a professional. <laughs> Unbelievable. Apparently the mad tatter. Oh shit. He's also got jokes. I gotta fuck with you, bro. Every time I you come here, you got that camera in my face. Hey man, I asked for permission. Apparently that's something that you're not used to. <laughs> that I don't need to. Do you know why Gage walks a little bow legged? Oh God. Because cowboys eat with their hats on. <laughs> Alright, so apparently the Mad Tatter is also a comedian. Just, just sometimes. So, why did the duck cross the road? Because the chicken took a day off. <laughs> <laughs> you know why, uh... You know why the toilet paper couldn't cross the road? Why? <laughs> it got stuck in a crack. <laughs> <laughs> what was that about a pencil? Oh, I had a joke about a pencil, but it just wasn't sharp enough. <laughs> All right, so we got the outline going. Mad Tatter, what are we gonna do next? Finish the tattoo. <laughs> I think he's starting to get frustrated with me filming him. 
Every time he comes here, he has that fucking camera in my face. Hey, I asked for permission. Jackass. <laughs> What's the name of your channel? Uh, it's Gage McCarroll on YouTube. Gage who? Gage McCarroll. What? Oh, I get it. <laughs> it's making fun of him, but unbeknownst to him, he is actually subscribed to my channel. I am. I am a subscriber. And Make sure y'all go and subscribe. If you on they don't want to pay what it costs, then I'll just tell you to go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? If you're not willing to invest in your tattoo, you're not willing to invest into your skin, then why am I going to invest my time? You know what I'm saying? That makes no sense for me to do that. So when I have people that come and they're like, yo, I got, I got 80 bucks. I'm on a half a sleeve. And I'm like, shit, me too. But it doesn't mean I'm going to get it. You know what I'm saying? Being a tattoo artist nowadays is, is very complicated because a lot of people don't want to pay what the tattoo is worth and they feel um, it's just the name or it's it's just the picture or it's just this. If it's just that, then why aren't y'all doing it? You know what I'm saying? If people uh, hit me up, they're like, oh man, I love your work. Okay, we'll pay for it then. You know what I'm saying? It makes no sense for me to do a tattoo for damn near free if you appreciate my work so much. If you're not willing to invest in yourself, then a lot of us aren't willing to invest in you. You know? I don't know. It's like people just kind of belittle it, you know, like it's really not a talent. It's not, you know, worth their money to spend on. And you can ask any tattoo artist, I don't care who you are or where you're at. If you're not willing to invest in your tattoo, you're not willing to pay me what my work is worth, you could take your ass somewhere else. You know, a lot of us, we're not going to just sit here and do, you know, tattoos for damn near free, you know. Because look, you pay for your tattoo one time, but you have it for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? Our tattoos, the work that we do, last longer than any car you'll ever purchase. My tattoo will be here when that when your relationship ends. My tattoo will be here when, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to go through life with this piece on you forever. And we get paid one time for it. So why wouldn't you invest in yourself? You know? You got to, if you're going to have this shit for life, why wouldn't you take, you know what I'm saying? Take in consideration that, you know, let me inspire my artist to want to do the best job that he can do. You know, we're in a business of gratuity. And, you know, it's like a lot of times tattoo artists... There are people who tip, and then there are people who don't tip, but they still expect the same quality. You know, oh man, I need a deal, man, hook me up, hook me up. But how many people actually go out there and hook their tattoo artist up? Man, I'm gonna go see my tattoo artist today, I'm actually gonna spin with him, make him feel good about what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't look at it like that. They feel, well, you know, it's me, I deserve a deal, you know, I should get a discount, this, that, and the other. Well, what about your tattoo artist? We spend... A lot of times, quote unquote, hooking people up or even, you know, giving a small discount. But the only thing we get in return is, thank you. You know, I mean, repeat business is a thing, you know, and that's how you keep business in. But at the same time, it's like, how many of us do you think we really feel appreciated for what we do? You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we go out of our way to make sure that you love your tattoo, that, you know, when you... Talk about your new tattoo that you just got. You know, you're, you know, you're in love with it. You know, you love what we do. So why wouldn't you pay? You know what I'm saying? What we want. Why wouldn't you pay what that tattoo is worth? You know, again, we only get, this is a one-time session for me. You know, it's not like she's going to come back and, you know, redo the wolf, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, you pay one time and you walk off with this for life. You know, it's yours, completely yours, you know. So what would you say that was your worst customer experience? Worst customer experience? Yeah. Uh, it's like a trick question. I'm very easy going with people, you know what I'm saying? I'm very patient. Um, and I work with people as much as I can possibly because I don't want... You know, a lot of shops, they want a whole arm and a leg for a tattoo. I'm asking for a, you know, a pinky toe and a toenail. You know, I'm not, 
I'm not trying to rape you for, you know, the money that you have. You know, I just want to make sure that I'm being paid and I'm being appreciated for what I'm doing. You know, um, so I don't think I have like worst clients or like dealt with like a really bad client. It's more of just anybody and everybody who wants you to go above and beyond, but they're not willing to do so. They're not willing to invest in themselves. <clears throat> you know, I've had a, I've had people come get tattooed, and I've had a couple people like who didn't even pay me. Uh, they were like, "Oh, the ATM wasn't working. I couldn't get the money up." Blah blah blah. blah. This is when I used to, you know, just tattoo and didn't really, you know, make sure they had the money. Had a lot of trust in people. Um, but they wouldn't pay me, and at that point, it's like, well, you know, I just can't tattoo you no more. I don't want you as a client. I don't want you to, you know, nothing. You know, whether it affects them or not. Um, and the people that, you know, I have cut off actually hit me up was like, oh, man, I need you to do this. I need you to, I won't do it. I won't accept them back as a client. Uh, when you're unprofessional and you're not, a, you're not going to, pay your tattoo artist for the work that he did, you just pretty much got a tattoo for free and then you have the audacity to hit me back up and want me to fix a tattoo that another artist fucked up. Well, you fucked up the first time when you didn't pay your artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, And that's the thing. It happens It happens more than often. A lot of artists don't like to admit it, but it happens. You know, you have these people that you feel that you can trust and then at the end of the day, you know, you find out that you can't. So we got the finished product with the Mad Tatter. I didn't even do it right. Look at that. Looks pretty damn good. How do you feel about it? Oh, I'm in love, man. It's just filthy. I really like how it came out. I like the fact that she always gives me creative ability. So I can pretty much do what I want. I think it looks good. You guys let me know what you think about the Mad Tatter slash comedian. Let me know down in the comments. Let me know down in the comments what you feel about the Mad Tatter.